Happy May 18th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Many heroes would use their danger sense to avoid danger, but not Ivy. Nope. Sensing danger apparently means you head straight for it and dive headfirst into the thick, off-color pool of bubbling goo that reeks of decay, which is exactly what she did yesterday. She found a marble stone with a riddle on it at the bottom of this, uh, I guess we call it a lake. Um, and that is where we left off. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. The engraved stone reads as follows. The slumbering serpent shall stir awake when these two words are uttered in unison. So, I, I, okay, we got two riddles here. Um, and then we're going to do some... Oh, and there's a hidden icon on this page. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do the hidden treasure first before I forget. Uh, it should be here. We are going to roll a d10 and see what we get. Seven. A stout seed. We already have one stout seed. Uh, I've cleaned up my character sheet. Nope, that's the wrong page. Here we go. Uh, there's Ivy, and I'm going to try to make use of this thing. Now that we have a lot of this stuff, it's getting rather unwieldy to try to keep it all on that one page as I want to do. So we'll go ahead and use this handy dandy page to keep track of the stuff. We've got two stout seeds now. Excellent. Um, I think that added constitution. If and when we need it. Okay, so that's our hidden treasure. What else do we have here? We're going to do uh, two things in order and we have some options for the second thing. So two riddles and then we're going to guess the answer to the riddles before checking the solution. And then we will either <clears throat> find a place to hide, and that's a stealthy check. <clears throat> Take a defensive stance, that's intellect, or ready our weapons, and that's wisdom. Okay, so, riddle time. I can be sweet, I can be bitter. Uh, ingest me and your life may jitter. Sorry. I can be brown, I can be blue, I can be violet sky. <laughs> Silent as a whisper, swift as a dart. Beware, for I can stop a heart. Never seen until it's late. What am I that seals your fate? And that's the first riddle. Second riddle. I'm countless in number, yet tiny in size. Between your toes, under sunny skies. Carved by wind, caressed by hand. A timeless sculpture, yet fleeting as a strand. What am I that covers the land? I think I actually... I think I've got reasonable guesses for both of these. Um, if you're playing along, I would pause here and come back when uh, when you've made your guesses. I am going to go with uh, poison for the first one and sand for the second one. Seems appropriate. Okay, let's see what we got here. One, guess the answer to the riddles before checking the solution. Part one. Any form of the word poison or venom is a valid answer. Excellent. Part two, any form of the word sand is a valid answer. We got, we got it. Okay, that's making me... F I think these were easy, <laughs> but thank you, Calendar. Uh, uh, that's, I have zero confidence in my ability to solve riddles. Okay, if you answered both riddles correctly, gain a plus three bonus to your strength rolls on the next page. Okay, so, and the next page is going to be um, Monday the 20th, right? So, plus three strength on Monday. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, two. Find a place to hide. I, oh, I guess we're summoning this thing. We said the words poison and sand, and now... The water is rising and there's something glowing in there. If those are eyes, that is a really big head. 
that they're attached to. <laughs> so we can hide that's stealthy. We can take a defensive stance that's intellect. Our intellect is not great. Uh, or we can uh, ready our weapons, wisdom. Uh, so wisdom or hide. Wisdom or hide. I guess we'll just roll here. Um, one to ten, we hide. Yeah, one to ten, we hide. Eleven to twenty, we ready our weapons. Six, we're hiding. <laughs> okay. Uh, D twenty plus dexterity. Reminder, stealthy. Twelve. Our dexterity is two. Uh, so that's fourteen. Uh, if we could get two more points, we can get the best result. Um, dexterity and stealthy. Uh, Disco can add dexterity, and Vinny can add stealthy. That's all we've got right now that can do that. So should we give it a shot? Why not? We're going to do two card draws here. We've got... Uh, Disco needs a five of clubs or better to add to dexterity. And um, Stealthy, I think, is Vinny. Where's Vinny? Vinny, Stealthy. And if we get a heart or a diamond, he activates his Stealthy. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make this easy, easier. <laughs> and... Uh, if I'm going to draw two cards and I'll see if either one of them activates either one of these pets. We got a six of spades and a king of hearts. Excellent. So we activate Vinny's stealthy, which I believe adds two, which is what we need. But it's a face card, so it does do a point of damage to him. This goes fine. That doesn't apply. Okay. So we need to mark off. And Vinny used a point of energy or health or whatever we want to call it. And uh, that gets us the best result on hiding. Okay, so amid a tense situation, you opt to use the environment to your advantage, aiming to blend in with the surroundings to gain a tactical edge against the Guardian. Uh and so we got 12 plus 2 dexterity is 14 plus 2 stealthy is 16 and if the result is 16 or more you quickly find a well-hidden spot among the rocks and plants blending seamlessly with the environment all um four eight nine ten, all ten of us <laughs> you're well concealed from the guardian giving you an advantage for the upcoming confrontation gain a plus two bonus and all damage rolls on the next page. So we get plus three strength and uh, plus two damage. Plus two, it's not writing very well. Plus two damage on Monday. Okay, I, I'm gathering... Um, my skills of deduction are telling me that we are going to be battling the Guardian on Monday. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to skip the weekend lottery. I just can't bring myself to do it when we are nowhere near civilization. Again, that's me, not the calendar. If anybody has an immersive explanation for how that would work, please leave it in the comments. I feel like I'm leaving a lot of amber on the table, so to speak. Maybe it's like the Hunger Games and the spectators can send in care packages or something. Something like that. Oh, we are. <laughs> we are poisoned. So let's do that. We need um, we need to roll an 11 or better with a constitution roll. We have plus zero constitution. Five. Can we get six points <laughs> somewhere? Uh, I don't think so. We've got a stout seed. That would add... Well, that adds D4. And Bumble could add plus two. It's possible. But I, I don't think we're too far away. I'm just going to take the point of damage. Which brings us to 15. Should we heal again? 15. We do have... So, in terms of health, we have 
honey. I have a healing potion. Neither one of those can be used in combat. Um, and we're going to be in combat. Honey, health potion. Who else? We have a party member, Ivan, who can heal us. Um, for one. <laughs> uh, why not? Let's give Ivan a shot. Here we go, Ivan. If we draw a heart, no. Yeah, a heart that's nine or better. No. <laughs> There's no. So there we got a four space. That didn't work. Uh, what else do we have? We have, um, oh, and Ivy has healing light. She can cast once per rest, but she can cast that in combat. So let's do either the honey or the healing potion. Let's do the heal. Let's do the health potion. So that's going to give us D4 health. Uh, open for three. We got two. Not bad. That uses our healing potion. Where's my eraser? Healing potion. And... We are up to seven, oh, 17. Is that right? 17. We're back to full health. I'm gonna, I'll double check that. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, that, my friends, is May 18th and 19th. So we shall say goodbye for now to Ivy and friends and visit them again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.